Clock's ticking as Floyd County scrambles to come up with a new plan for EMS service before its current contract expires at the end of May. Right now, the county's under contract with New Chapel EMS, the ambulance service at the center of the investigation into former Clark County Sheriff Jamie Knoll. Wave News reporter Noel Friel tells us about a new bid that Floyd County Commissioners are hoping to move forward. With just 65 days until the county's EMS contract expires, county commissioners voted to continue negotiating a bid from AmeriPro Health. With just two bids from New Chapel and AmeriPro on the table, some commissioners felt it was the best option, but not everyone was in agreement. All right, I second. All in favor? Aye. Yeah, I mean, I definitely no. In a split decision, Floyd County commissioners voted to pursue a bid from AmeriPro Health. They have a big footprint. They have economy of scale. They're already providing services for the city of New Albany. Uh, I've been receiving good feedback on the services that they provide. But not everyone was on board. This month, the Floyd County EMS Board recommended the commissioners reject both bids from New Chapel EMS and AmeriPro Health so they could instead pursue a fire-based EMS plan. Commissioner John Schellenberger believes the county should fund fire-based EMS instead of rotating through EMS providers. It's a one-time stipend after that. You get the uh, medical billing in and that'll take care of it after that. Highlander Fire, a district representing Lafayette and Greenville townships, put together a proposal for expanding EMS services. But commissioners Al Knabel and Jason Sharp say it would have left out certain parts of the county. It excluded coverage for New Albany Township and parts of Franklin Township, leaving them unprotected. It did not cover all of Floyd County. The Highlander plane utilizes two and a half ambulances, not three. It does not meet our strategic deployment template outlined in the RFP. The department would be utilizing at least one unit that was scheduled for replacement a year ago as a primary unit. Some residents said they were in favor of a fire-based EMS, feeling it would bring a number of benefits, including faster response times, but were concerned about getting a plan together in such a short timeline. I'd love to see one. I think that's something for the future. I don't think it's ready yet. Knable said he could support fire-based EMS down the road, but said the county would first need to appoint a countywide EMS director. So if they come together and there's a plan that says yes we can do this and it makes sense financially and the council will have to answer that more than I, then my hope would be that that could be, you know, put into place one to two years from now. While they're moving forward with the bid with AmeriPro for now, it's up to the county council to vote on whether to fund the bid. If they vote it down, the commissioners will have to start the entire process over. If this cannot go forward, then we'll have 60 days and change to start the process over looking for providers. It wouldn't surprise me that they would not that, that they would not fund us. And if they don't, then what's our option? The Floyd County Council will discuss EMS funding at a workshop on Monday, April 1st. Noel Friel, Wave News. Thanks, Noel.